Hello, so we are back, but this time we have a tablet to be re repaired. Uh, this is a funny, this is a funny story with this tablet. So the customer sent this and he said, Samsung Galaxy Tab S Wi-Fi chip need replacement, a uh, new one and closed. The battery keep discharging, but after seeing your uh, video on YouTube, it's pointing to the Wi-Fi. So the customer sent the tablet and the Wi-Fi chip. <laughs> I mean, it's beautiful, but let's see if the customer is right. Okay? First, let's check if it's charging, if it's alive. Let's plug the charger. Yeah. Okay, so the charger is plugged in. It's taking 1.5 amps, you can see on the screen. So actually, the current is right. 1.5 amps is okay. 1.3 is fine. It's no issue here. 1.3, it's a little bit, uh, I would say it's not enough. So we can have a very used battery. So possible the customer is wrong. And uh, he has a faulty battery, but he's believing actually someone is discharging, something is discharging his battery. Or, can be my cable, you know, my cable can be a dodgy cable. The customer sent the charger and the cable, but I don't want to check with his one, because his one can be faulty also. Micro USB, micro USB. Pretty sure I have another micro USB cable here. Oh yeah, I do have another one. Let me check with a different cable. So this one is 1.3 amps. Let's check with a different cable. And with a different cable, it's a different story. It's 1.7 amps, you can see. Amazon cables. So the tablet is taking 1.7 amps, which is above the right amount of current. 1.7. Okay. So we cleared this. No issue with the charging. Now let's open the tablet and uh, have a look inside. See how we can check. Let's see how we can check uh, if a tablet is just, is just drawing current, doing nothing, and if it's something shorted. Okay? Let's do it. Okay, so the tablet is open. Let me plug the longer cable. Okay, so the tablet is open. Same story. Let's uh, take out the battery so we can see the tablet is untouched. So no one opened this tablet before. Now let's take out the battery. That's very important. To see if the tablet is drawing any current. Okay. Now let me get the, the power supply. Power supply. Power supply is on screen. Let's drop the voltage to 4.4 is fine. Let's get the power supply. Plus, minus, and that's how we check if the tablet is drawing uh, down any current. Plus, minus, and check on the screen. It's 130 milliamps and the tablet is off. So the customer, it is right this time. You can see on the screen 130 milliamps, 0 0.13 amps. So the tablet, it is taking power and the tablet is off. Yeah, it's not on. So how can if we found exactly the precise spot 
where he's taking that power, where the power is getting exchanged on heat. With a thermal camera, very simple. Remember, now we do have a thermal camera. But here we can see, most likely under the, under the metal, uh, something that is getting hot, you can see, or is getting warm. 120 milliamps is not that much. Otherwise, the board looks okay. But here, everything on, around that spot is red, you can see. Now, let's take out that shield. This one. So, very possible the customer has been right this time. Yeah, now let's check one more time. And you can clearly spot. I'm not, it's not taking power, it's not taking power. Why? Because of my ground. Yeah, okay. So one more time, we are holding the camera right there, right? And everything is green. Coming with a plus is going red. You see that chip is going red. Now it's green. Coming with a plus is red. You can see. So clearly that chip is something wrong with that chip, right? Now I can't believe this. I think I think this is the first time when actually the customer is right. I mean, it's a logical approach. So I seen your video, and uh, I believe it's that chip, and I will buy that chip, I'll order that chip, and I'll send you that chip. Unbelievable! <laughs> the, the customer is 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 better than than me. I want to think is a Wi-Fi chip on the on the first place. I mean, on the first place. Probably I would believe, you know, like a poor battery or some charging port issue or even a charging cable issue. But not straight away like a, a Wi-Fi chip. So what do we have there? Yeah, we have a Broadcom chip there. And we have to replace that chip. Let's see what the customer bought. Okay, so that's our faulty chip and the new chip, Broadcom, yeah, that's the one, BCM4354, yeah, that's the one. So the customer, actually, he done the, the whole job, the, the diagnostic, he ordered the part, and he sent it to me just to replace it. Incredible. So uh, let's use the flux. Before we start, yeah, just before we start, remember the, 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 my video with the flux. So the flux, you remember the two UUL flux? Look, it's something dodgy with this uh, rosin. So the rosin separate from the alcohol. You can see. So this is not good. I also write on the description of that video is dodgy. So what I did, I mixed. You know the small uh, pine rosin uh, uh, thingy? I mix it with alcohol and this is perfect. Okay? So we'll be using this flux for this kind of job. Now let's do it quickly. Let's replace that chip. Should be an easy and pleasant job. Right? Flux. Yeah, we have our flags there. Let's be sure it's on focus. Yeah, it is on focus. Hot air, let me grab a nozzle. Yeah, that's perfect. Now let's go with, uh, to take out that chip, let's go with 380, 380 degrees. Actually, it should be more. No. 
let's go with 390. Okay, so the chip is out. The chip position. Yeah, with the writing down. Now, all what we have to do now is to clean the solder walls. Perfect. Now let's have a look closely at the at the bolts. Let's see if everything is fine. Yeah, and all looks good. Let's clean it. I mean, you don't have to clean because it's only rust in there. Well, yeah, we can do it. Just looks nice before we are soldering the chip. So all looks perfect. Now let's come with flux. Rosin flux. Good. Now let's come with the new chip. That's the new one. The cheap position. On the other way. Yeah, like that. Good, so the chip in home place. Let's come with uh, hot air. Okay, so the chip is moving. Which makes me believe the job is done, right? And all what is left is to test. So the Wi-Fi it will be working or not? That's the question. Now let's check first the power supply. Let's see if it's taking any power. Plus, minus. And it's taking nothing. You can see zero, zero on the screen. Yeah, so this chip is not taking power anymore. Now let's plug the battery, let's plug the charger. The tablet is charging fine, we have the charging sign, we just need to wait for the tablet to come on so we can test it. Let's help the, the charger and charge the battery a little bit more, 1.3 amps. Let's go 2 amps. Now we are pushing more current on the battery, so 1.6 amps from the charger and 2 amps from us, <laughs> like 3 amps, 3.5 amps. But this battery is like new. I mean, with 2 amps, the voltage is 3.8, so this battery, it is like new. 
So the, the internal resistance of the battery is very low. Let's see. One percent on the battery settings. Wi-Fi, we have all networks. We have Diana, we have Sorin. <laughs> okay. So let me connect to the Wi-Fi one second because uh, I have my password. And it's connected. Let's check the internet. Let's check the internet. What app we can open here? The internet, right? Hey, you want to update? No. And the internet is working. Yeah. So we help the customer. We fix uh, his uh, tablet. But, you know, I'm impressed. I mean, you, you understand? The guy saw the video. He made the connection. Actually, you know, drawing down his battery. It can be the Wi-Fi chip. I mean, I would think probably, you know, like pr probably my battery is very used. Yeah, but he, he thought, you know, okay, maybe it's the Wi-Fi chip. Very good, very, very smart thinking. Okay, that's all for today. That's how you can fix this problem. And uh, yeah, if the battery is uh, losing charge too fast, can be a Wi-Fi chip, but most likely it is a battery. Okay, so probably first I will think of the battery, but this time it was not the battery, it was the Wi-Fi chip. Okay, so all we have to do now is to put this back. I'm happy with uh, help this customer. I will stop now. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And uh, see you on the next one. Bye.